To keep the top of the box from sagging when I add decorative wires, I'm going to completely fill the back with the Wolf soldering clay. This will give it added support while I'm fusing on the decorative wires and scrape off any excess clay. I flux the top of the box and I flux my wires and granules. And then I allow it to dry before fusing. The clay does not have to be dry. It will dry very quickly with the torch. So I kind of feather the flame to make sure everything stays in place. If the granules start to move away because the flux is bubbled up, just stay in there. The capillary action of the flux when it becomes liquidous will pull them back into place. takes a little bit longer for that brown flux stage to come up because of the wet clay on the back side. So here comes the brown flux, which means that the clay inside is dry. I see that one of the granules has moved, so I take the time to roll it back into place. I'll double check all the granules and the wires to make sure they're where I want them before fusing. I have the blue cone very close to the piece, but I move the flame very fast. This keeps the bezel from overheating. Again, it will take a little longer for this piece to heat up because of the clay behind it. But the clay can help protect this from slumping if you happen to overheat it. And being careful not to overheat the bezel. If it glows brighter, that means it is hotter. So I'm concentrating my heat all around the whole piece until I see that flux starting to break down into what is like the water droplets. Here it comes, and at that point, this is where the flame becomes really bright orange. And here it comes, now this is the fusing temperature. And I back the flame up slightly, I can back the flame off and let it cool down slightly and then come right back in with the flame to do the final fusing. And there it is. It will take longer to cool because of the clay in the back, but simply dip it in water and the clay will come right out. And then pickle and clean.